Listen to this. 6,000 children experience an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest each year, but the American Heart Association reports there's a greater chance of survival if an AED is used in an emergency cardiac event. Well, Dr. Jen Arnold of John Hopkins All Children's Hospital is back with us to show us how easy it is to use one of these devices. So good to oh, see you. Thank you. We love when you're here. Great to be back. She always has us de demoing something, putting us to the test. But this yes. is so crucial and literally life-saving for people. Absolutely. And you were telling me there are success stories of people using these AEDs. Oh, absolutely. We know that uh, 90% of folks that go into cardiac arrest out of hospital do not survive. But the mm. one, th two things we know that save lives and increase the chance of survival, CPR and use of an AED as soon as possible. Every minute after a cardiac arrest, if you delay using an AED, the chance of survival decreases by 10% every minute. Wow. So reacting fast with CPR and an AED can can save a life. I hope this isn't a silly question, but how do you know if you're actually in cardiac arrest? Like, what does that mean? When do we know we need to go grab this, you know? So really the most important sign you'll see is if someone goes down, child or an adult, and then you'll see if they're responsive, Hey, are you okay? Uh -huh. If there's no response, you just go into action. And what do you do? First, you ask, yell for someone else if you can. Go call 911 and find an AED while you start CPR. Okay. Now, and before that, because you were saying it's really important, whether it's at your local grocery store, schools, wherever your surroundings are, you say look for the logo that maybe one of these are actually in that building. Absolutely. That is the universal sign for an AED. It says AED, which mm -hmm. stands for Automated Electronic Defibrillator, okay. and they are located now in all public places, your schools, your shopping malls, your airports, um, almost all places that are public and have mm -hmm. a lot of traffic now have them. Uh, so the more that we can get AEDs spread around, okay. the better chances of someone surviving. you don't surviving. have to be a certified user to, to use it. <laughs> Not at all. They're okay. actually pretty user friendly okay. and foolproof. All right. Well, you're going you're <laughs> gonna to go ahead and teach us how to use them. But you say, number one, call 911. Get somebody to call 911. Exactly. So you want to get help there as soon as possible. Okay. And then CPR is the okay. next step. Yep, so okay. hands only CPR will save a life. So again, you wanna go in the middle of the chest okay. about a finger breath below the nipple line, put your hands on top of each other, okay. hard and fast to the rate of staying alive. Mm -hmm. And while you're starting CPR, if you have a friend like me, I'm gonna go get the AED. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna follow the simple one, two, three steps. First step is to turn on my AED. So I hit the green button, number one, two, three. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. So it's Plug telling me. pads connector next to flashing light. To basically take my pads. It tells you exactly where to put them. Apply pads, plug in connector. Now I'm going to go fast. You keep okay. doing CPR. All right. okay. I'm okay. reaching under, putting it on his back. Now I'm going to connect it to the machine. And now there you go. say the beauty oh, of I this, the if they're not in cardiac arrest, it actually won't give them that analyzing shock. Analyzing heart rhythm. So now it's analyzing. Do it's not touch the patient. Let okay. go. So it, lists, it tells you what to do. Shock advised. So it's telling us this child has an shock. irregular heartbeat that needs to be shocked. Okay. So don't touch the patient. Of patient. I hit shock, which is number three. Deliver shock now. Here we go. Shock delivered. Oh. Hands off. Shock is done. CPR. Resume CPR. Okay. After that shock is done, and then keep doing CPR until the patient becomes responsive or help arrives. Is that beeping like the rhythm of the... <laughs> yep, that actually okay. is helping you oh, get yeah. that rhythm. Staying alive. Well, staying alive. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Staying alive. Staying alive. Hard and fast. Hard okay. and fast. There you go. There you go. And look, our patient is coming back to life. So, I so can do you literally off. just do this until, like, would, would you ever need a second shock? Uh, it might, and it'll actually keep analyzing. So keep the defibrillator pads on the whole time during the resuscitation so that if there is a need for another shock, it's going to tell you. And then obviously until help comes arrive and then medical personnel can kind of take over from there. Exactly. I'm like sweating. That's yeah, a lot of work. And I can imagine work. if you're in the, you know, middle of a... A situation, true. an emergency. Absolutely. And you know, the, these, the, keeping the pads on will not only help guide you on what to do, because technically you're supposed to do what's called five rounds of CPR 
before you then reanalyze. It'll tell you, analyzing the heart rate after five rounds, and then it'll tell you if you need to shock again. But it won't shock a patient that has either a pulse okay. or one of those irregular heartbeats that doesn't, uh, that we know a shock won't help. All right. Yeah, so. What's your take home? We have less than a minute left, but when it comes to these devices, I mean, obviously I know you're probably thinking we want more, we want every, you know, everyone to have one. Absolutely. I think that my take home is for everyone to be aware, look around your surroundings to get trained first. The American Heart Association right now is raising awareness for AED mm -hmm. use and hands only CPR because we know it saves lives. So if you have the opportunity, go to a local American Heart mm -hmm. uh, training site, get trained on how to do CPR and how to use AED. What if there's only one of you and you have to decide whether to do CPR or the AED? Great question. First thing you want to do is call 911. Then you want to immediately start hands only CPR. That is your first line. Okay, and so then, that continue to do that. Exactly. So you, until okay. either help arrives um, or if you can see an AED, if, you know, if it's right there, grab it. But that's unlikely to happen. You really want to call for help okay. so that someone else can get that AED. We love when you're oh, here. I mean, you. truly life saving <laughs> advice. And uh, we look forward to having you back soon. Thank, thank you, you so much. This was awesome. We'll make sure and put info on our website oh, as well. Thank you.